All right, I think I'd like to just take a second. I just swapped the engine out of my daughter's vehicle here. This is a 2004 Nissan Murano, 3.5 liter. And the engine I just pulled out actually has a, uh, on cylinder number four, uh, I got really poor compression in that cylinder. So instead of change, uh, changing the um, head gaskets, I just decided to get a different engine um, and go from there and I'll deal with that other engine later. So I just, if anybody's doing this job, let's see if I can get it back up in here is the connector for the transmission. I don't know if you can see it's right back there, that connector. Uh, that's really a tricky thing uh, to uh, to remove. There are uh, some videos online, but uh, it, it does come out, you know, very straight. You got to tap it with like a screwdriver, just tap, tap, tap. Um, and it is, you know, lefty loosey, whatever, righty tighty. But um, there's a clip. So I accidentally made the mistake by removing that clip, and that black coupling actually went down into the transmission just a little bit. So um, I actually had to really work hard at pulling it up. That was not easy. I do have a little tool that I had used, and it's actually a tool for a uh, removing a uh, fuel filter on an Audi. So I was able to grasp onto that and pull it straight up. If you don't, I got it straight up and uh, replaced that clip then. If you have difficulty in uh, in getting that connector on, you need to pull that up and let it sit on that clip, okay? There's a little groove on that black coupling. Put the clip in and then you can rotate that into position. Uh, if you don't get that connector, that harness on all perfectly and seated, um, you'll put the key in and it'll, it'll go chunk. So the starter will try to, in, to fire, it's, uh, the Bendex will come out and then that's it. So there'll be something strange that happens and that is due to that connector. So you gotta have that connected and fully seated. Uh, once I had it all um, installed and ready to go, uh, I got it started and it ran for about 10 seconds and then quit. And then I tried it again and it quit. It turned out to be that I had a connector way up on top here uh, for that ignition wire harness. That actually has to be tightened down. So that's all it was is one little ground wire I don't know if my old engine has that. Uh, yeah, it's this spot right here, okay? So it's this connector. There's a wire that goes to this. This has to be tightened down. I had just let it loose uh, from after moving the wire harness into place, but I just thought I'd shoot a quick video here if anybody's doing this job. Um, it took a bit. I had a few weeks on this. Uh, I made a little thing over here to rest the engine on uh, as a you know the frame and everything the subframe so I made it in such a way so that it would strongly rest on my little uh, table here and scoot it around and then I have a lift in my garage so it helped it out a little bit but it's a big job uh, but I would just work an hour here and there and uh, eventually got it okay I hope this helps if anybody's uh, doing this job if uh, they run into any snags or no start or some weird stuff. Um, those are about the few things that I ran into, okay? Thanks.